hello everyone um, I'm recording a tutorial for ML agents 1.0 and how to install it um, I've done a similar thing just a month ago for version 14.0 or 0 0.14.0 and if I had known that they will be releasing 1.0 that uh, quickly after I would probably have just waited but anyway here we are so we start from scratch it's quite easy it's actually as simple as never before so um, for those who do not have um, unity at all so you basically just want to go to Google and then type unity hub Ooh, unity hub. here we go and the first kind of link popping up download unity um, that's exactly where, where we want to be please download the unity hub um, uh, Unity Hub is basically um, an, an, let's say, an instance manager tool that uh, gives you the opportunity to have multiple installs of Unity, like different versions of Unity at the same time and kind of um, manage your projects in a nice and neat way. I've done that already, so I will not um, do this again, obviously. Um, just install it for now. That's the first thing we need. The second thing is um, Anaconda. So you go to anaconda.com. That's basically the environment for Python and TensorFlow. Um, why do I want to use Anaconda? Because I really like to keep my root directory clean um, uh, on my local machine for Python. And Anaconda basically gives you the opportunity to um, run multiple uh, virtual environments um, on your machine. So why would I want to do that? If I work with um, different um, ML agents versions, let's say, right, I, I want to create a, a virtual environment for each of the different versions so, and easily switch between them and not cross contaminate between the different um, versions. So um, that's why you download Anaconda. Um, you go to anaconda.com products, individual edit edition, sorry. Um, you go probably all the way to the bottom somewhere right here and whatever applies to you um, under 3.7 um, you download it graphical installer I've done that already so I don't need to do that right I have that installed perfect you basically just go through the installation it's very straightforward um, and the last thing we need is um, the actual um, ML agents release. Why do we need that? Um, two reasons. First of them is there's a package of examples in there you can check out right away. And um, the second reason is that there are already config um, files for training your ML agents. Um, so this is good to have. Um, so basically you go to their uh, to Unity Technologies GitHub um, page and then to ML Agents. That's where I am right now. Unity, te Unity Technologies ML Agents. Um, and then you go to Release. The first kind of entry is ML Agents Release 1. Uh, at least at, the, at that time I'm recording this uh, video. So you scroll down a bit. Minor changes. You can check out whatever changed if you've worked with ML Agents before. Um, and then just download the source code. Perfect, I'm doing that right now. Great. Um, so, once you've installed the Unity Hub, Anaconda, and downloaded the release, we are pretty much ready to go. So, uh, what do we do? We're going to open Unity Hub. Um, if you've never worked with Unity before, um, you probably need to log in before you, you need to create an account and log in. Um, then you go for installs and you want to say add and um, select the Unity 2019.3.13 F1. That's at least what's uh, what I'm using right now. I, I don't know if I would want to uh, play around with the pre-releases yet, just yet, but um, as long as you're on 2019, I think you should be fine. Um, okay, perfect. I've done that already. Th I don't have to do this. Um, once you've installed it, you go for projects. Um, and this is the way you're uh, usually adding or um, creating a new Unity project. 
but I just want to set up my project folder beforehand. So um, for me, um, I have everything in my dev folder and here are pretty much all of my projects. Um, so I'm creating a new folder and I will call it ML agents just to keep be consistent because I've done a lot of other things with other versions of ML agents. ML agents 1.0 test project perfect. Great. So this is my kind of directory where I want to keep everything in. Um, so, and now what you can place in here is already the ML agents release. So I'm going to my downloads. So I'm extracting all of the files. Great. Going in here, one hierarchical step into the folder. Yep, that's what I want. So I'm copying this folder and and placing it into my um, ML agents 1.0 test projects folder, right? Perfect. So, and as I said, if you look through this folder um, here, there are a couple of config files already for training. Um, your um, neural network will be saved in a folder called models it's not existing yet because we haven't trained anything but it will be auto created um, and examples are in this folder right here but we don't have to worry about this for now we will um, go through this uh, in a bit so perfect um, so back to unity hub I'm creating a new project and I'm navigating to to that folder dev ML agents 1.0 test projects perfect I can see already um, the release folder in here um, I'm selecting this folder um, uh, and giving it a name ML agents 1.0 perfect creating this okay great here we are um, so next thing we have to do is we go for Windows and package manager um, make sure that you are showing preview packages right with this drop down here and then you simply type ml agents and it pop pops up already version 1.0 perfect that's what we want um, and I'll just press install wait this out okay perfect seems to be installed Great. So now, um, what is this? I can close this. This is my downloads folder. Okay, this is my project folder. So in, as I said, in my release folder here, in my ML agents test project, um, I can find under projects assets ML agent and a folder called ML agents, which I can just drag and drop onto my assets. And as I said, those are a couple of examples straight from Unity. Okay, and that's done. So, perfect, I have my example files here now. Yep, under examples. And normally I use the push block example. That's kind of my hello world for ML agents. But I really like the, uh, the, warm, the warm example because it's kind of locomotion is uh, quite interesting, I think. So under scene, you can go for warm static target, for example. Yes, that's fine. You can see our warm here already. And as you can see, it's already set up. So there are a bunch of warms basically training to go from um, this very left side to the right side, I guess. Wow, this is very, seems to be a very difficult first kind of task for a warm which doesn't know how to crawl. Oof, okay, wow. Um, Anyway, um, for um, simplicity, I'm turning off all of the other kind of um, instances of this kind of slope or whatever that is, bar, training area, okay. Um, and I'm checking out my warm here. And I can see there's already a, a neural network tr pre-trained probably on it. So I can just go straight ahead and press play and see what is happening 
I don't know how well the neural network is trained, so I don't know if it's just crawling straight ahead, but no, I don't think it's trained very well, actually really bad. Hmm. Okay, this worm is not able to move anywhere. Huh? I mean, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, so this means um, kind of everything is working so far. Now, what we need to figure out is how can we train um, ourselves, right? So basically what you're doing is um, we need to set up now the Anaconda um, virtual environment. That's uh, we're doing that in the following way. Since you installed Anaconda already, Anaconda, you want to go for the Anaconda prompt. I don't know if it shows up like that straight away for you. Um, maybe you have to write it out, Anaconda prompt. Um, you're opening this up. Perfect. So first things first, I want to get out of my base environment. And how I said, create a specific virtual environment just for my ML agents um, release one. Okay. So I have a little cheat sheet here um, on the side. So this first command will be conda create minus n ML agents. Oh, that's not correct. ML agents. Ooh, wait a sec. ML agents one. Python equals to 3.8. Yep, that's correct. I'm pressing enter. Conda environment already exists. Okay, I'll just remove this here. This will not show up for you because I mean, I tested this already, of course, if it's working or not. I'm removing this um, existing environment for a second. Okay, so this is exactly the way it should um, look for you as well. So it just basically shows me all of the packages I'm about to install um, and I want to proceed. Perfect. Great, so this is gonna take a bit longer for you, of course. Um, but uh, next up, I have to activate that um, environment they give me already the command right here. I can just copy paste this. Conda activate ML agents one. Yes. And you can see already now this kind of um, break in the brackets, the um, environment changes to ML agents one. That's exactly what I want. And then you just type pip install ML agents. Hit enter. Okay, great. This seems to be all uh, fine. Um, so now, before I start training, of course, I have to take away the neural network which is already existing, right? So I'm clicking on my worm and in the behavior parameters, I'm just setting this to none. Great. Behavior type is none. Great. Okay. Um, then the next thing I need to change directory to um, my release folder okay remember so this is the project we we are working in the project folder sorry this is the release um, and this is the um, directory directory we need to change to um, just like this great so now we are in that specific um, folder um, and one of the standard training commands, you can find it also on the ML agents repository documentation and um, figure out what all of these different um, kind of parameters mean. Um, I'll place that here. And so why is it important to be in this specific folder? Because it actually, as you can see here, it goes into the config folder which is sitting right here and is using the trainer config.yaml um, file for the training configuration of this worm. Then you have to type double double run minus id equals two. And basically worm test is um, a variable you can change to whatever uh, you want to call it. And then um, uh, you're typing dash dash train. Okay, let's hit enter. 
Okay. I mean, there are a bunch of warnings. Not sure why that is, but it basically tells me now start training by pressing the play button in the Unity editor. That's what I'm doing. Let's do this. Okay, and the worm starts to train. I'll just fast forward from here. Okay, great. So the first episode is done. We can see how much time elapsed since we started training. Um, the mean reward as well as the standard distribution of the reward. Um, yeah, perfect. So I'll stop it uh, right here. Of course, this worm um, needs much more training. He's still quite struggling to get anywhere. So hit Control C. Um, great. So the last thing I'm going to show you um, is where you can find the neural network you just trained and how you can apply it to the worm. Um, so let's get into that. Um, so I guess it's quite clean to actually place that in the warm example folder already, the neural network we trained. Um, those are the pre-trained networks from Unity. So let's go into our um, project folder in the ML agents release. As promised, there's now created a new folder called models. Um, this is the ID uh, we gave to the before we started training. Um, and yes, this is the um, network we trained. Um, let me just change the name to, to I don't know, something like test one. Um, and you can just drag that neural network into this folder here. Perfect, here we are. Um, so now basically you can drag that um, neural network into the model input of your worm. You change this to inference and you press play and now it's using the neural network um, you we just trained um, to move around. Of course it's still not able to move because we how I said we trained way too little um, not long enough um, for for this guy to get anywhere but anyway this would be the general work general workflow um, to get into all of the components of the agent and the specifics of training would probably be um, not, not in the scope of this um, tutorial um, but I think the most frustrating things about um, these things is how to get started um, um, everything after that let's say right the training and specifications parameters etc are very well documented in the ML agents github repository so you can read up on those and go through all of the examples test run them see what they did um, look at the scripts etc um, I think that's the best way to do it how I said now you're ready to start um, have fun I hope this helped